biochemical recurrence can be a really critical turning point in a man with prostate cancer's uh, treatment history. Men undergo initial definitive therapy that's meant to cure them, either radiation or surgery, um, and they hopefully are cured and live the rest of their lives happy and without complications. Unfortunately, some men experience this term biochemical recurrence, and that means that the PSA protein that prostate cancer cells make starts to be measurable and is rising in a man's blood when it's being tested at the urologist's office or the radiation oncologist's office or the medical oncologist's office. When this happens, um, men can be diagnosed with biochemical recurrence, and that's the phrase that we use. They're, they undergo imaging, like a bone scan or a CAT scan or both, to look to see if the prostate cancer is visibly growing anywhere. But uh, for true biochemical recurrence, there is no evidence of prostate cancer in any of those scans. And so all we have to show us that prostate cancer is rearing its ugly head is the PSA. There are treatments available for some men with biochemical recurrence that we know can save their lives. Some men experiencing biochemical recurrence can actually get salvage radiation. Um, and, and this is a specific population and it's important to talk to a radiation oncologist and a urologist to make sure that that may apply to you. But those men who get salvage radiation um, can be cured and that's a really important thing to, to know about and to potentially pursue. For other men, they're either not eligible for salvage treatment um, or they undergo salvage treatment but have progression or rise of the PSA after that. Um, it's, that's a difficult time for men with prostate cancer. The reason for that is that there's no clear, perfect treatment for that group of men. Sometimes we use androgen deprivation therapy or hormonal shots that we give men to try to lower the PSA. And those shots certainly can lower the PSA and sometimes for a very prolonged period of time. What we don't know as doctors is whether giving those shots and starting therapy actually makes people live any longer. We do know that giving those shots will absolutely cause side effects. It will thin their bones, it increases the risk of diabetes and cardiovascular disease potentially, um, and it causes things like hot flashes, loss of libido, and things that men generally just don't like to experience. And so we really think long and hard about whether we want to give a treatment that certainly will cause side effects, but does not certainly prolong life in this group of men. And there are doctors who are, are, are at all ends of the spectrum, doctors who will never treat men with a PSA-only recurrence or a biochemical recurrence because they, they do not have any evidence that it will make him live longer and, as I said, will cause significant side effects. And there are other doctors who say, well, I have the treatment and it will lower PSA and that will make me feel better and I'm going to use it. And, and so that's the other end of the spectrum and those doctors exist too. When we think about whether to treat or not, it's not just the doctor, it's also the patient, right? So patients can decide and also lend their opinion as to whether they feel that they want to be treated or not. And so this is really a complicated discussion. And if you have biochemical recurrent prostate cancer, it's definitely a discussion and perhaps a prolonged discussion that you want to have both with your doctor, with your family, your partner, your spouse, your, your, your loved ones, um, to really decide if, if this is something that you want to go forward with or something you'd like to wait because you can always get treatment when you have metastatic prostate cancer or cancer in your bones. Um, and we really just don't know the answer about when this treatment needs to happen.